Hi guys, this is Elizabeth, the middle school English teacher of Vidya Lakshmi Matriculation High Secondary School and I welcome you all to Vidya Lakshmi Matriculation High Secondary School YouTube channel. I'm glad I've got an opportunity to take a session and my session begins here. The first image which I would like to show with what I would like to teach or I would like to share is showing a globe and an airplane. So now you might wonder what my topic is all about. Yes, you have something interesting to hear from me and here I go. Well, we must go be textbook, go out into the pie path and untrodden depths of the wilderness and travel and explore and tell the world the glories of our journey. I repeat the image what I show is we must go beyond textbooks, go out into the bypaths and untrodden depths of the wilderness and travel and explore and tell the world the glories of our journey. This quote is quoted by Mr. John Hope Franklin. You might wonder what connection do I have in relation to the things which I'm going to share you all. Yes, I have a connection and that is we are going to learn about or we are going to hear something about travel. I hope everyone would enjoy to hear a lot about travel. Yes. And we are going to know first of all what travel is. Travel is a movement of people between distant geographical locations. Travel can be done by foot, bicycle, automobile, train, boat, bus, airplane, ship or any other means and you can even go with or without your luggage and can be one way or around the trip. So here this is the meaning of travel which I would like to concentrate for today's session. And the next slide of mine says that why do we have to travel? Yes, we are going to know what is the importance of travel. Yes, we have many reasons to know why we are going to opt travel and why travel is important. The first thing which I would like to show is travel, it's a sort of freedom. It shows or it gives you a feel that you've got freedom to travel anywhere as you opt or you prefer. And this travel is even something which gives us knowledge and it is something which makes even connections. Travel is making connections. It connects us to different places, to different people, to, to different traditions and what not. Everything is done through travel. And the next thing which I would like to share is travel is something where you taste something great. Every country has its own way of eating stuff or eating style. So here you even get to know about those different yummy, yummy, tasty things of different cuisines, okay? Travel is creating memories. It even creates memories. Travel is even giving you mental peace, which is the most important because we travel to get even peace and to just keep ourselves from a busy or stressed life. And the next thing which I would like to again add on is Travel, it's help you to grow your sense of achievement. It even helps you to increase your positive emotions. It helps you to support the meaning of your life. It increases or engages in the present moment. So here I think we have discussed a lot about the importance of travel or the benefits of traveling. Okay. And I'm here to even touch a little about the travel vocabulary, words related to travel. And here my journey begins with this first slide which shows about accommodation. It is a noun. The first vocabulary which we are going to learn as I'm sharing a lot of information about words related to travel. The first word which I would like to introduce in relation to travel is accommodation. And the part of speech, 
it belongs to now. Accommodation is a word which belongs to now. The meaning of that is a room or rooms in which a traveler stays. Arrangement of travel is called as accommodation. And we have got an example sentence which helps us to know how to use this accommodation when we travel. And the example sentence says, I recommend Singh Travel Agency as they provide excellent accommodation with a reasonable price. I repeat the sentence. The accommodation is now framed or it's like written in the form of a sentence where it says, I recommend Singh Travel Agency as they provide excellent accommodation with a reasonable price, which is the most important, where everyone opt for reasonable prices. And the next thing, the next word, which is related to travel is bucket list. This is a wonderful word where we all would love to use. Why? Because we have a lot of choices and a lot of preferences and a lot of desires. So it's something related to it. And the word says bucket list. First of all, I would like to say that this is a noun. This word bucket list is a noun. And the meaning of that, it says that a number of things to do things to achieve that a person hopes accomplish for his lifetime. We have n number of things like this in our life where we have a bucket list, isn't it? Yes, the meaning of bucket list which is a noun says that it is a number of things to do, things to achieve that a person hopes accomplish for his lifetime. And the usage sentence says skydiving is on my bucket list. I really want to do it very soon. I repeat, when you use bucket list in the form of a sentence, how do you have to use it? You need to say that skydiving is on my bucket list. I really want to do it very soon. Yes, this is a wonderful thing which we have to learn where we all have bucket list. The third one which we are going to learn is itchy feet. It's a phrase. I repeat, the third vocabulary which we are learning or which we are knowing regarding words related to travel is itchy feet, which is a phrase. And the meaning of that is a person, if a person has itchy feet, it means he has a strong desire to travel. I repeat the meaning of itchy feet, which is a noun, by stating that if a person has itchy feet, it means he has a strong desire to travel. And the usage sentence or the example sentence helps us to know how to frame this itchy feet now, I mean a phrase in the form of a sentence by stating that the travel I had in India gave me itchy feet that I wanted to travel more. It had created a sort of like, you know, desire or a passion that you need to travel to India where you have a lot of sightseeing places in India. So here the example states, sentence states that the travel I had in India gave me itchy feet that I wanted to travel more. Yes. And the fourth vocabulary which we are going to learn is a tourist trap. It's a noun. The previous vocabulary which we learned was a phrase and this is a noun. What is this fourth vocabulary which we are knowing now? It's tourist trap and it's a noun. The meaning of this is a place where many tourists visit. What is the meaning? I repeat, a place where many tourists visit. And the example sentence given for this word is, I don't care if the Great Wall of China is a tourist trap. I still want to pay a visit there. I repeat it. It's a wonderful sentence which shows how much you long for traveling. Okay. I don't care if the Great Wall of China is a tourist trap. I still want to pay a visit there. That's a wonderful word which we have learned now. And the next one is hostel. It's a noun. You all know very well what a hostel is. But according to uh, you know, travel terms, hostel means, of course, it's a noun. And the meaning of that is inexpensive establishment which provides cheap food and lodging for students of or travelers. I repeat, inexpensive establishment which provides cheap food 
which we all prefer and lodging for students or even travelers okay and the example sentence it helps us to know how to frame a sentence this hostel which is relating to travel vocabulary it is actually if you are a budget traveler staying in a hostel can really help you maximize your money here they are giving a tip by saying that if you are a budget traveler of course we all prefer to be in a, a budget traveler isn't it so here if you are a budget traveler staying in a hostel can really help you maximize your money so this is the fifth word which you have learnt the sixth one is itinerary it's a noun i repeat the word itinerary it's a noun and the meaning of that is a planned journey or route of a person's travel a planned journey or route of a person's travel and how could we put it in the form of a sentence here we have an example and the example says i don't really make itinerary when i travel as i want to surprise myself of discovering places on my own i repeat the sentence which is given as an example here that i don't really make itinerary when i travel as i want to surprise myself of discovering places on my own so i think this is a wonderful vocabulary which i which we have learned the seventh one says go off the beaten track it's an expression i repeat the seventh word which we are learning or which we are knowing related to word travel vocabulary is go off the beaten track it's an expression and the meaning says a place where only very few people go that's like a road not taken if i'm not wrong as an english teacher i would like to say the poem the road not taken isn't it so the meaning of go off the beaten track which is an expression is a place where only very few people go and the example sentence given for this is the village we stayed for a couple of nights during our trip in geneva was off the beaten track it's a wonderful sentence i believe the example sentence says the village we stayed for a couple of nights during our trip in geneva was off the beaten track so i think we have even learned one more word which is like awesome let's go to the eighth one and uh, the eighth one is one for the books again it's an expression i repeat one for the books it's an expression and what does it mean it is used to say that something in surprising or unusual i repeat one for the books it means that you use or you can use to say that something in surprising or something unusual and what's the example sentence which could help us to know how to frame a sentence with this one for the books which is an expression is i could never believe swimming with whale sharks in the philippines it's definitely one for the books i repeat the example sentence says that i could never believe swimming with whale sharks in the philippines it's definitely definitely one for the books and the next word which we are going to learn is wanderlust yes it's a noun wanderlust and the meaning of that is having a strong desire to travel you've got a strong desire to travel there are many people who are like that they would like to fly around the world their ambition might be that they are much focused and they are they their target or their ambition is to just go travel around the entire world so people who have that sort of intention or a desire can use this word related to travel vocabulary that is wanderlust which is a noun and the meaning says you have got a strong desire to travel and the example sentence given here is young people nowadays are undeniably pursuing their wanderlust as they usually believe that life should be enjoyed through traveling i, I repeat the example sentence which is apt and which is right well said young people nowadays are undeniably pursuing their wanderlust as they usually believe that life should be enjoyed through traveling that's a wonderful sentence which is really true let's go to the last one which is there in the bucket list of mine and that is campground 
or campsite. Most probably you have these terms in defense, right? You have a campsite. The tenth word which we are learning is campground or otherwise called as campsite. It's a noun. I repeat, it's a noun. And the meaning of this vocabulary, tenth one, that is campground or campsite is a place where people can camp when on holiday. What is the meaning of this? It's a place where people can camp on or camp when on holiday. And the example sentence says, what I like the most about spending the summers in British Columbia is its many beautiful family campgrounds. It's true. Even I have a desire to do that. What is this example sentence saying? What I like the most about spending the summers in British Columbia is many beautiful camp beautiful family campgrounds this we need to note it's family bank i mean campgrounds fine i think my session is going to get over with this i've got one thing for me to show and that is we are going to learn a word of the day today which is related to travel again i'm just sticking on to my word which is related to travel and what is that word it's peregrinate what do you mean by peregrinate which is a verb it means that you travel or wander from place to place especially on foot you travel by foot that's the meaning of this you travel or wander from place to place especially on foot and what is the, what are the synonyms of peregrinate which is a verb it is journey gallivant ramble roam wander maunder track Hike. I repeat the synonyms of peregrinate is journey, gallivant, ramble, roam, wander, maunder, track and hike. And how could you use it as a sentence? You can use by taking this as an example. The best experience of solo traveling comes when we peregrinate the uncharted territory. I repeat the best experience of solo traveling going alone is the solo traveling right so when you are experiencing this solo traveling which comes when we peregrinate the uncharted territory which is traveling or wandering from one place to another place especially on foot then you can use this word peregrinate i hope you all like the word of the day which i have told regarding travel and i have a i, I have a last quote which i would like to say it says that traveling it leaves you speechless then turns you into a storyteller repeat my quote which i would like to end my session by saying that traveling is something it leaves you speechless and then it turns you into a storyteller let us all travel let us all become speechless let us become storytellers with this i would like to end my session for today by saying that Traveling is going to make me speechless. It's going to turn me into a storyteller. Let's all become storytellers by traveling. I hope I have just filled this day or I've just made your day by sharing a little with what I know. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity. Again, I say please see and subscribe the Vidya Lakshmi Matriculation YouTube channel by seeing a lot and learning a lot where we share a lot. Thank you so much, guys. Take care and have a good day.